Hello everyone, today I'll be talking about my project, IoT Coffee Maker. So to overview this project, the IoT Coffee Maker is a project aimed at improving my dumb coffee maker to the point that it could be remotely controlled and provide sensor data. The project is made up of three main components, the hardware, a mobile application to control the hardware, a web server to connect the hardware with the mobile application. The project has three main features. Make coffee on command when the button is pressed on the app. Make coffee in a specific time if the timer is set on the app. And provide sensor data about water level inside the coffee maker. My main motivation for this project is to prove how cost effective and powerful DIY IoT solutions can be. People don't need to spend great amounts of money to use this technology. With a little bit of patience and learning, it's possible to harness the power of IoT even on the most simplistic appliances. My coffee maker had only two buttons on it. No app, no settings, nothing. Even a simple appliance like that was able to turn into a remotely controlled smart appliance with the help of IoT. Here is my project hardware and design. I'm using and here is my project setup. As you can see, the water distance can be demonstrated on the left, and on the right, it shows how the servo motor activates the coffee maker. So the hardware characteristics. As I said, I'm using three main hardware, ESP8266 Wi-Fi, HSCR04, and a servo motor. The ASP the ASP8266 model is an SOC with Wi-Fi capabilities that will be connected to the web server which will connect to the app via the open source firmware NodeMCU. The HSCR04 is an ultrasonic sensor that measures the distance between the sensor and the water. It will be used to determine the water level. And finally the servo motor is a basic motor that will activate the coffee maker. Here is my data flow diagram for the project. So it starts from the app and goes to until the servo motor and the ultrasonic sensor. It's basically when you trigger something on the app, it will send data to the web server and the web server will send data to the node MCU, which will then trigger the servo motor. On the flip side, when, when a sensor reading occurs in ultrasonic sensor, it will send the data to node MCU, which then calculates into readable data, for example, water percentage, sends it to web server, then it's then read by the app. So my programming environment and use libraries are ASP8266 Wi-Fi, Blink Simple ASP8266, HSCR04, and Serum Motor Library. Here is my project mobile application. As you can see, uh, I have a quite a few of widgets. There is a virtual LCD that shows the water percentage, a gauge to w show the water level, virtual LEDs to indicate the water level, a timer to set the program's execution time, and a button to start it. Here is my overview of my implementation. On the first picture, you can see that uh, I am setting up my virtual LCDs and the timer for the sensor. In time set interval, I set the interval as one millisecond, which means the sensor reads the water level each millisecond. On the second function, you can uh, in the second function you can see that I'm calculating the water percentage. In a series of formulas, I'm calculating. I'm turning the the water distance into water percentage and blink the corresponding LEDs uh, when, the, when they're in a certain water level range. And on the third one, uh, on the third part, I'm actually, uh, I'm actually writing to the servo motor when either the button is pressed or the timer is set. And now I'll be doing a demo of my project. Here is my hardware setup for the project. As you can see, the servo motor and the ultrasonic sensor are connected to the node MCU. 
uh, as you can see there is at least half amount of water inside the water tank and the ultrasonic sensor uh, sends that to my blink app as 58 percent so when you hit the brew button the coffee maker starts or you can set the timer for uh, some time later so you don't have to do it manually for example I'm going to set the timer for a minute later hit OK and yeah the coffee maker starts again after the coffee has been prepared we can see the new water percentage as 29% so my challenges and limitations. The biggest challenge in this project was to actually calculate the water percentage. Since the ultrasonic sensor only detects the distance, it took some extra measurements and calculations to actually get the water percentage. The primary limitation of this project is refilling the water. Right now there is no implemented way of automatically refilling the water. It requires the user to manually fill it. So my future work and planned improvements uh, to me, there are two. There are some possible future improvements for my project. One can be connecting the water tank of the coffee maker into a water supply via a water pump, and make the pump automatically drain water as the water level is getting low. Or connect the project with my Amazon account via a web API to order coffee when the coffee amount is getting low. That's it for my project. Thank you.